damn she just look this website you can see on here how cool is it this look like the apple that does for showcasing their products like the iphones or macboard or ipods whatever they does here on here you can see that how it's cool look like and in this video you're going to be making this full application from scratch without writing in a single line of code at the very first you're going to be generating here two frames one is the start frame another one is the end frame and for this case you're going to be using the google wix from google labs make sure you sign up with your gmail account now click on enter tools so this is a tool it how it actually look like so what i can do i'm just going to click on here and click on enter text so you will get this text in the video descriptions don't worry you can get it so here's the prompt just copy it Control c and just go on here and paste it and after that click on generate so it will creating here an image and after that what i can do we're going to give it to here our first frame and the last frame all right so you can see that our image is generated it's nothing but an dslr camera so what I can do now, we're going to be generating here our minimal look fast frames. So I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to copy it and then go on here and I'm going to pass it to here. And after that, click on this button. So what it can do, it will try to generating here our starting frame. And after that, it will be creating here our end frame. All right. So you can see that it's generating here two images. So what I can do, I'm going to now pasting here the second frame, which is nothing but the exploding technical diagram, just like copper layers or ribbon cable like that. Control C and go on here again and simply going to remove it and paste it here and now click on this button. So what it can do actually, it will try to creating here the last frame, which is starting called the exploded frame. All right, so you can see that our image is generated. So what I can do now, I can just go to downloading this one. Now I'm going to renaming this one. Let's make it here the first frame. So let's say first frame. And then I'm going to make it here the last frame. Let's make it here last frame that's it now we need to make here a video for that right now we need to creating here and have more transition from the first frame to the last frame and for this case you're going to be using the google flow from google labs now just click on here and make sure that you sign up with your gmail account that's also important things now what i can do i'm just going to go on here and click on frames to video and after that i'm going to do selecting here my frames now let's click on upload agree now let's select the first frame and it uploading and now let's say crop and stand and now let's add here another one it uploading well so our image is uploaded you can see the first frame and the last frame now what you can do i'm going to give it here a prompt a smoothly transition from the sample product to the exploded view in slow motion now let's click on here it will try to generating here and frame or video for me all right so our video is generated now let's click on here boom this is really cool now let's click on here to download it let's say i'm going to click here to original size and that i'm going to downloading this video from this here so in here there is one problem that is nothing but if i go on here my account sections you can see that i just have the eight credit left so when you are creating here a free account it may give you the 100 ei credits but here is also one catch that how can you generate it without using any kind of credit i mean free you can using here this lm erna you can just using this one and just join to this discord account and you can easily generating here this kind of video without any cost okay so here's my video let's try to rename it let's say i'm going to make it here video also one more thing you cannot pass the video.mp4 file directly to your applications you have to make it in a frame otherwise it may give you some kind of lagging error that's why you need to make it frame and after that you can easily rendering it to our applications in order to convert in the frame we're going to be using the easygib.com i'm going to click on the choose file and then i'm going to select here the video.mp4 click on open and after that i'm going to click here to upload here the videos so what it can do actually it will try to converting them into some video frames okay so now let's convert to the jpg all right so it's generating here the frame now let's click on download frame as a z file all right it started and if i see that it have those kind of images it basically generating here the 40 frames now we're going to be using here this frame in order to creating here our website okay so now it's time to unzip the file here let's click on here and click on the starting here the file so they're starting this one and after that we need to also renaming here the folder names let's make it here frame let's make it here frame and after that what i can do is simply going to right click on here and open with anti-gravity because they're going to do it using the google anti-gravity 
So all right, so you can see that right now the Google entry gateway is opening. Now it's also selecting here the model. I'm going to choose here the Google Gemini 3 flash models. So I'm going to go on here to the prompt sections and then I'm going to copy here from these, okay? From here to at the last of the uh, prompt text, okay? So how are we just give it here all the instructions that how can you basically creating here the website and everything, okay? So let's control C and go on the entry gravity and simply going to paste it to here. And after that, what I can do, I am simply going to click on here and click on send. So what it can do basically, it will try to creating here the applications that you see before uh, using the NACJS. You can see that we actually give it here all the informations like which of the tech stock you are going to using it here. You can see that you're going to be using here, if I go uh, above that you can see, the framework is NACJS, the styling is Tailwind CSS, animation is frame emotions and rendering in HTML5 canvas. Okay, that you can see. So I'll back again how it is actually done you to give it here accept and accept every time. And if you get any kind of things or error, just copy the errors and just pass it to here and Google and gravity is try to resolve it in your own way. All right, so you can see that our application is ready. I, I also running this out using here the common call npm roundup. Also, I do more some kind of changes on it. Let's say I'm going to add it here some price or some specific add it our applications. That's it, super simple. And you can see the work through here. It first actually creating here a work through or the tags that you need to do it by itself. Then after that, it will try to creating here the applications. One more thing, make sure that your folder called frames should be in the same folders. Now, if I'm going to going to delete it or I'm just going to go on the terminal again and try to run it again here. So let's say I'm going to say that npm run dev. So it will open in this seat out in the local host. So let's see this out. All right, so our application is ready. Now we can click on here, click on follow link. So it will opening it out in the local browser. Let's see this out. All right, you can see here it calibrating in the sensors and this is nothing but our applications. Now let's click on here the specifications. We can see the specifications. If I go to the price tag, we can see the price. Also the social media thing like Instagram, Twitter, Bimo and LinkedIn. Now if I see this one, this is how it look like. This really, really boom. Okay, and you can see that it's look like the Apple does actually for the product showcase, like the iPhone or MacBook, everything that actually does here. So you can see that how it actually look like. And you can click, it's not working yet, but you can also make it working. So that's it for today now. I hope you enjoy this full tutorial and make sure to share this. Also subscribe the hit buttons. I mean, hit the subscribe buttons so that you will uh, notify when the new video is coming up. Thank you and bye-bye.